Hi everyone and welcome to Mystery Monday. Just getting myself set up. Sorry my computer seems to be really slow tonight. Um, hi if you're watching me here on Facebook um, or if you're watching the replay here or on YouTube. Um, just a quick little if you'd like to share the video I would really be grateful um, just so it reaches more of our crafty friends thank you so much for joining me tonight um, if you're here in Australia or New Zealand or anywhere else in the world that you might be watching um, my name is Lucia Byzantine and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator in Melbourne Australia um, so just a couple of little housekeeping things. Today, the 31st of May, is the last day to take advantage of our Join Plus offer. Um, you can join Stamping Up today for just $169 and you'll get $283 worth of products um, of your choice. Um, hi Joan. Um, so that's actually $114 for free and you get free shipping on top of that. So what you'll get is um, an instant 20% off products when you order yourself um, and you'll actually get to earn lots of extra rewards and freebies and get to attend events and things which is pretty exciting too. Um, but it does end today so um, if you would like more information um, just ask, send me a message um, or if you go to my shop now button um, if you go there, then there is a, um, a join now button as well that you can click on as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, just let me know. Um, would look forward to having any of you join my team of um, creative girls. That would be lovely. Um, and the next thing is we still do have a connect, craft and collect offer. Now that um, is happening still till the 14th of June. So with this one, if you have a workshop um, or get a few people together to pop some orders in, um, once your orders reach $400, you'll actually get an extra $40 of hostess rewards. So usually you would get 10%, um, but you will get the 10% still. And on top of that, you'll get the extra $40 as well. So that's another good little offer there also. Um... And another little thing as well, and I don't have anything printed out for it, sorry, but there is another paper pumpkin that will be available and it's called Expressions in Colour. Um, and it's very similar to the Expressions in Ink suite that we have. Um, hi Jenny. Um, and it is $37. Um, but that's not available until the 11th of August so once we get closer to the time I will actually print something off for you um, so that you can see it and lastly um, as of tomorrow our kits are available um, to order so there are no actual kits in the new catalogue um, but if you go to the online store tomorrow you should be able to view them um, there are two price points so there will be $33 which will have a kit with a stamp set included and everything else that you need um, to create the kit will be there as well um, but there are also kits that um, are stampless um, so it is just assembling cards but you'll still get all your little bits and pieces and embellishments um, with that as well and that's $21 so like I said if you check out my online store um, that will be there as well so we might get started so like I said what I am going to um, be showing tonight is part of the expressions in ink suite um, but what I'm actually going to concentrate on are the dies or a die in particular so I will show you the die we are using, which is this one here. Okay, so I've got myself a little bit organised. I've cut out some card bases. I've cut out some mounts. Um, and I just thought I would go through and show you a few ways that you can use it. So firstly, you could use your die as is, just in a colour. So white, I've got one here. Um, that I have done just in a black with some of the designer series paper behind it um, which still looks gorgeous 
but tonight I'm going to show you just a few other little ways of doing things. So like I said, I've just got my card bases. I have just cut out a, um, a couple of mounts as well, which are in the colours that I'll be using for um, daubing. So what I will just get out now is a card base. Not a card base, sorry. This is one of my mounts. So this is one of my mounts, and I can't remember the measurements I put down. I think it's 13.85 by 9.5, this particular mount. That would be it. So what I'm going to do first is actually daub it and show you how we can get a little bit of colour onto our um, die here. So like I said, these are the colours that I've got here. I have got Highland Heather, Polished Pink, Pale Papaya and Soft Succulent. So I hope you can see those a little bit there. And I have daubers um, and I usually have a dauber to match each colour or colourways. So I mean if you've got a couple of colours that are similar, um, you're fine to use your dauber on the two colours. So let us get started here. So what I am just going to do is use my dauber, just pop it on your finger, open your ink and I'm just going to use the ink straight from the pad. Okay. And just colour in the leaves with my dauber. Now, the reason why I have got the mount behind it is because what I'm wanting to do, or what I'm hoping will happen, is um, that this will then almost act as a stencil. So as I'm daubing, I'm just going to get a little bit sort of on the outside as well, just so that we can get the... Um, the definition of the leaves. So again, don't have to be too fussy about it. So I'm just making sure I've got all my leaves there. And they're all nicely coloured. get to the next thing so I'm just going to do my really little roses in the pale papaya and I am smudging the um the dauber down a little bit just so that the colour goes through the um the dye as well so one of these flowers I think looks a bit rose-like, so I will do it in a beautiful, in a beautiful polished pink. So like I said, mainly this is just to colour the dye, but as I was colouring it, I did realise that it was leaving a lovely pattern underneath. So I thought, well, instead of wasting what you had underneath your dye, but we might see if we can try and use that on a card also. Okay, and lucky last is Highland Heather. Yeah, look, if you could, it probably would be good if you could use a double-sided um, glue or something just to keep this... Um, down a little bit you wouldn't want to get interrupted halfway through it because um, you don't want your dye to move at all um, mind you it could still give you a nice effect as well so you know if it did it, it wouldn't be the end of the world either I don't think and it just gives that dye a little bit more color as well so hopefully it will just pop a little bit more. 
And now again, I'm just going to come outside the edges of the die. Color there too. Okay, so let's see how we've gone. Hopefully, it looks okay. <laughs> so I don't think actually. Do you know what? I'm just going to do the leaves because it doesn't look like the leaves. So I did move it a little bit, but it's easy enough just to pop back into place. There you go. I just smudged it on the flower a little bit too. There you go. So it's not too dark. It's um, just nice light, almost a bit chalky really, isn't it? But then this one here has got a little bit more colour on it as well. So what we can do then is do something like with this one. I would probably go the pink. And then we could just go a white mount. And then pop that there. So that could be that little card there. And one that I have done earlier. Is this one here and I've just popped the little best wishes which is from the same um, stamp set as well and I have popped that on this is one of the tasteful labels um, the smaller circle now the largest circles is the stitch shaped dies which are no longer available but and I didn't realize in the um, the tasteful labels there is a larger circle too that you could use so you could still use those two as well for this one and that's all current stock as well now with this other one i have actually used it here and what i've done if you can see is i've actually popped it through the um one of our embossing folders and it is the textured one. And I can't remember the name. And it's not the linen one. I'm sorry, I will just have to look it up for you. It is the Tasteful Textiles one. Um, and use some of the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon as well. And again, the same little um, Tasteful label as well, but with the Hello in it this time. So that was that one there. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is, I know we've sprayed all of, uh, we've sprayed, we've, um, I was going to do this one first actually and I forgot, but I'll show you now anyway. So this one here, I'm still going to use the same die. So I'm going to use that that way on a card before I put it onto a card and I am just going to get some horrible scratchy paper here because I am going to spritz. So we do have stamping up spritzes. So what I have in my spritzer is Calypso Coral um, and I have used isopropyl as well. So I've probably put about to that much isopropyl, I've probably put about seven drops of ink I would say in there. And what I'm going to do, and this will give a really lovely light effect, is I'm just going to spritz over this and hope it works okay. Um, I probably wouldn't go too close and you kind of don't want to go too close either because you don't want your um, dye to blow away. So if we go, I'll just spray it here first, okay. Like I said, it's only just a very light effect on that, but I can still use that dye that way as well. So, let's take that away. So 
So what you could do with this one, and I think with this one, as much as I used the um, Calypso Coral ink, it seemed to go with the Flashy Flamingo um, cardstock. So for this one, I didn't cut anything for the base. So I will just do one of these quickly. So I think I had 9.8 and 14.15. So what I'm doing there is I'm just making it three millimetres larger than this mount that I've used. So I'll grab a little bit of glue. Pop that behind. And you can get different effects with this. So the closer that you go with the spritzer, um, the deeper in colour it would be as well. Um, but I do like it just being a little bit subtle. So like I said, it's it's not a really crisp image, but it's still quite a lovely image on that. And then I'll just pop that onto a card base. But what I will do as well, and like I said, the... Um, the Flirty Flamingo is what matched it best, so I might even go with the Flirty Flamingo ink to do my sentiment. So like I said, the ink I did use was Calypso Coral, but I think it does get watered down a little bit because that's the difference in colour there, just so that you can see. Sorry, I'm just going to grab a stamp and we might just make this one a happy birthday. Oh, we might go thank you. That on our block, and like I said, we'll stick with flashy flamingo. Sorry, I just have to put my head over it a little bit so I get it straight. Do you think the Calypso Coral might have been just a little bit too dark for it anyway? And then we can just pop that onto there. So super easy. Just a matter of having a few things on hand. Like I said, cutting out those dies so you've got the dies. But with that one die, you can actually then make three cards, which is um, pretty good value for money, really. There you go. So we've got that one, that one, and that one, and that's using all the one die. So like I said, one side with spritzed the other side we've colored and then we've used it as a template or as a um, stencil when we've done um, that card there as well like i said that just gives you an idea of how else you can use um, your stencils then i did that one in a blue as well just so that you can see but like i said still quite subtle so i hope um you like that it is definitely a good way to reuse everything that's for sure you get as much as you can out of the products um, that you've got because it's nice to see how else you can use um, the products you have as well so the other thing I just would like to mention is the hostess code so tonight's the last night to use this hostess code I'll pop another one um, up on my site tomorrow now the other thing you could use on these is um the in colour jewels as well. I'm not very good at placing them though, I must admit, so I have to I will think about that and I will um 
I will pop them on before I take the photos as well. This is a gorgeous set. I think, um, Joan, you would get heaps of use out of this um, because the other dies are actually quite gorgeous too. So like I said, there's the dies in there. And a few of the dies do actually cut out the flowers in the stamp and the leaves. I think it cuts everything out. Apart from this small jump here, it's cutting everything out. So it's actually really well worth it too. I don't think I have got any cards around me at the moment. But I um, just cleaned up yesterday, believe it or not. And I've taken all the cards away. <laughs> Which probably wasn't a good move. But here are a couple of others that I did play with that I can show you. Oh, that was my first one I did. So this one I actually did um, sponge a little bit more as well um, after I spritzed because I wanted it to be a little bit darker. But then I decided I actually quite liked the little ghosty look of this one a bit more. And the other one I did just to practice the colour of the, um, the Coastal Cabana was this one here. So that's the little bit that I used on this side to spritz. And then I've just stuck it on the other side of my card as well. Oh, so I think you would definitely, like I said, I've this, this is probably nearly the only stamp set I've um, I've used so far since I've um, had the new catalogue. Um, and I did get some other stamp sets, but this one is just so versatile and you're able to do so many different things with it. Um, the other thing that I did want to show you as well is um, I do have a card class coming up in June, so June the 11th, and I still do have a couple of places. So I will just quickly, and we are using this suite as well for it, so I'll just quickly show you the cards um, that we will be making. And believe it or not, oh no, I'm not missing one, that's another one. But on there, and then that first one that I showed you with the black flower is the last one. I don't know whether you can see them all there. Um, so if you're interested in that, just um, send me a message as well. So the class is $35 and then postage. Now, as we're in lockdown at the moment, I do have little express post um, bags that I will put them in, which is um, $7.60, I think they were. So it'll be $7.60 postage. But there are all the cards and everything is included. So the only thing... I've got one upside down. The only thing that you would need um, to provide... A dimensionals and your adhesive for those um, so like I said that is on the 11th it's online it's on a Facebook group a private Facebook group so I will invite you to join that as well um, if you can't make it on the 11th don't stress because it will stay there and you can watch it later as well so they are my cards I hope you liked cards I did make tonight though because I was actually it was lovely it's, it's just like I said sometimes it's nice just to see what you can do with particular sets when you've got them and, and just different ways to use them like I mean there is so many ways you can use this set anyway but like I said that's just something a little bit different I hope you enjoyed it I hope all my Melbourne friends are keeping safe and keeping busy at home um, Sending all my love to you and um, I shall see you again next Monday. Unfortunately, Coffee and Card won't be going ahead and I would say definitely not tomorrow, but I would say even next week. We might give it a miss too and just see how we go here as well. So take care everyone and I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.